Hi, I'm Arnold Ross from Marshall Europe and I would like to give you an update on our latest video cast about repairing flaky InDesign files using both Quark, Marksware's InDesign to Quark extension for Quark and Marksware's Quark to InDesign conversion tool for uh, InDesign. We received a huge number of positive reactions on our first video cast on this subject after which we asked you as an InDesign user to send in your flaky InDesign files. Well, to be honest, we did not know there were that many corrupted files out there. We are still receiving one or two corrupt files per day and using the quite unorthodox way of salvaging the file, we are now able to salvage about 90 to 95 percent of them. Since our research and development department is working hard on a solution to prevent InDesign files from getting permanently damaged, I hereby ask you to keep sending us your flaky files. We will try to salvage your file send it back to you and use it to create you a product that will put an end to InDesign files getting corrupt that took you hours to create. As an update, let me show you how I recently salvaged a corrupt InDesign file that came in. So here you can see the file I got in. It's a pretty huge file, 2.3 gigabytes, and I took them a lot of time to create this file. When I open it, or try to open it, I get an error code 5 which defines it to me as a flaky InDesign file because it cannot be opened. In Quark we will find the InDesign to Quark utility under Utilities. With this Marksware extension you are now able to find the file we uh, got in, this is the one, 2.3 gigabytes, and open it. Quark will give you some options after which the InDesign to Quark extension will start converting the file. As you can see where InDesign failed to open the file with the InDesign to Quark extension we are now able to open the file in Quark, which is quite amazing I think. Uh, we could just scroll through the file here and as you can see there's a whole document here, with, completely with texts and images and everything. So now it's a Quark document, but we want to have it as an InDesign file. Well, what we do, we just save the file as a Quark document, save it in a nice area that you can find it, click OK, click Save in this case, close the document and go to InDesign. In InDesign we have the Marksware plugin named Quark to InDesign which allows us to select Quark files, in this case the Quark file we just saved, and open it. The Marksware uh, plugin, the Quark to InDesign plugin, is now converting the file back to an InDesign file. And what do you know? The document opens fine and is now back to InDesign. Remember that the first time we tried to open the file we got an error 5, meaning that the file could not be opened in InDesign. So using the uh, InDesign to Quark extension for Quark and the Quark to InDesign plugin for InDesign, from both from Marksware, we were now able to salvage the whole document and open it again in InDesign. We can now save the file again, uh, give it a new name because there is already a, a, a file with that name, so we name it Recovered, save it, and now we save the whole document as an InDesign file that we are able to open over and over again. And to show you that it worked, let me try to open the file again. We named it Recovered InDesign. So I can now open the file and it opens fine, only some missing fonts, but that's not really uh, going to be the problem. The file opens fine, we can go to every page that we like and scroll back and forth and we can just start working with the file where we left off. So that's how we do it now, but as said before, please keep sending in your flaky InDesign files to david at marshway.nl or give us a call to receive FTP details so we can create you a product that will put an end to these flaky files. Product information and contact information for Marksware Europe can be found on our website at www.marksware.com. Oh, and before I forget, have a look at youtube.com slash Marksware TV to see more interesting and funny video casts we made. This is Arnold Rose from Marksware TV, signing off. Oh, <laughs> oh,